Okay, so Evan Phoenix spoke at the first Farmhouse Comp as well. He is one tall drink of water. Um, he uh, and Abby, Abby, are you still in your shot? There you go. He and Abby uh, made this small human called Zoe. Um, they went to school down here at SC and then ended up back in Seattle somehow, and that's where I met him one night at Seattle RB. And Seattle RB was a very, like, so a Ruby meetup, but it was really just sort of like nerd social hour. We hung out at a coffee shop and sometimes opened laptops. And I lived, you know, on the sort of northern side of town, and it was like a dark and stormy night, or, you know, sort of gray and misty night in Seattle. And I was like, well, time to get on, you know, 40 bit minutes more of buses and transfer and whatever. So and I was like, no, I'll drive you home. It's totally out of my way. It's fine. And, um, and that was the beginning of this long relationship of um, give him giving me rides home. And then um, couches to sleep on and hotel floors to sleep on. And uh, now they live kind of just right around the corner. And uh, Evan and John Bender, where are you at? John used to um, sort of co-squat my... Um, my living room office, and it was great having the boys around, and they both went and had little humans and then left me forever. So, Evan Phoenix and Zoe Phoenix are going to give their talk. Here we go. This ought to be good. Do you want to say something to start? You say hello? Hello. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so, I uh, was trying to figure out what I wanted to talk about, and um, I went back and looked at the date of the first Farmhouse Conf, which I needed to do because I was just curious. And uh, Zoe was a thing about this size at the time. That would have been May. She was born in July. So she was tiny and still in utero at the time. And um, I, I bring that up mostly because, so I'll, I'll, I'll get back to that. Um, so the, the, what I talked about at the time uh, was my open source project and how I had gotten hired to work on it. And um, it's, it's, sort, it's, it's funny how sort of, you know, just normal time changes things and what you want to do. And I, in, in, since then, I, well, okay. <clears throat> I didn't think this all the way through. <laughs> so I, okay, I got five minutes. I can just stumble around for five minutes, thanks. So I ended up quitting that job, um, my, my dream job at the time. And it was because I had just kind of felt like I had been doing that for five plus years at the time. And I, Zoe was around then, she, this was uh, about a year and a half ago. And I had kind of had to make a decision, like, did I, I've been doing it for five years, which is five years in tech is an eternity. And did I want to be doing it for the next 10 years? Did I want to say, like, I worked on this one project for 10 years. That's all I did for 10 years. Um, that would be kind of insane. And so I ended up just quitting. And you OK? Cool. Thanks. Um, so I ended up quitting and going off to basically do another job. And I haven't, I, I sort of still help out with that project. I haven't really come back to it. Um, but I, the, I, I bring this up, and I bring Zoe up here, because uh, I wanted to, to keep with the theme, if you will. Um, backy, backy. Yeah, your backy's over there. We'll get it in a sec, okay? Wait. Yeah, you have to wait. That's right. Yeah, you're, backy. yeah you're doing a great job. <laughs> so um, so I, I, I bring the story up and I bring the Zoe up because you know, uh, there's there's sort of no end to things. So like, you know, if there's gonna be collapse, so if I say that like my job, my working on my dream job collapsed, that was fine. That's because there's always something after that, right? So collapse is never an end. It's always just a, tr a transition, if you will, right? So at that time, uh, when I first gave this talk, I felt like, oh, I'm gonna do this job forever. It's gonna be amazing. And I also didn't know what it was like to be a dad at the time and how much time that would take up and all. I know, I know, Becky. We're gonna get Becky in a sec, okay? okay. <laughs> and so I, you know, I, I thought it would be a good sort of juxtaposition to say like, you know, I, you know, I, I work still, still love that project, but I don't necessarily work on it as much anymore. Instead, I've got oh look, Becky came. And instead, I've got all kinds of other projects, and one of them being a dad of this cute little girl. And yeah, you say thank you, mommy. Say thank you. 
Well, anyway, so I'm just going to end there. That was a ramble. Um, do you want to say anything, Zoe? Do you want to say anything while we're up here? Do you want to say hi to all the people? Hi. Can you say, can you say hi, people? Hi, people. <laughs> say, say thank you. Th say thank you, people. Thank you. All right. Thank you.